Good, just a morning. Uh, welcome to Strange Dream. I have double bill. Uh, a few days ago I had a dream where, and this was after the second attempt of Donald Trump's assassination of the golf course, so that's probably why. I was watching news and I didn't see the first bit, but I knew in my head that, I, that Donald Trump had been assassinated. But I was watching news and then on the news they were showing Joe Biden on the lecture you know, doing a speech in Congress or something, and there were people behind him, and then this guy that looked at, well, I didn't see the guy straight away, he shot him. the president, Joe Biden, at close range, and he collapsed, and then there was, I saw blood, and the people behind were screaming, and there was blood on them, and then the ca it was like the camera showed the person walk off, and they were like Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but a lot thinner and older. Um, and he was wearing, I think, he had like a, a jumper on. Like an old, like, I don't know if it's the ones that Carlton type of world, but like an old fashioned, uh, like knitted jumper. And I don't know if he had a cap or not. I don't remember, I don't think he had a cap, but it was like the camera came this way to show him like walk across it but first it was showing that tableau and then it showed him as if he walked into the shop um yeah and he just had blood on him and no like expression really not happy not sad not running just just normally walking as he was just and then walked off yeah so the the dream was like they both got assassinated um, and then the second dream was today this morning I woke up with it that one I woke up with it I think it was on the 16th, 17th was the day after the golf assassination attempt and it was like I opened the window here usually I don't dream in this house but across the road the like something had fallen on top of the roof, you know, like it was a, like wind had blown off and there was something like precariously there and there was bits on the floor. And I, I thought, well, should I go tell them? And they said, yeah. And I said, well, I don't know what to say. And it was from the next guy. And then I put my shoes on and I go across the road. And then I'm in like the kitchen with this guy making, he's making tea or something. And I'm trying to tell him, well, I need to show you something outside. So I take him outside to show him his roof, I don't explain to him, he's walking down the corridor that his roof, something's come off and it's, you know, come down, I'm thinking about how bad it is for him, and I, I come down outside and I'm showing him his roof falling down, and then I look across the road to our house and I notice that our whole roof is gone, and I see Anarchy running up the stairs to go get something, and the kids and I'm shouting to her, the roof is gone. And then we're both outside talking to this woman and we're asking, like she's a structural engineer, asking how do I keep the roof safe? And she's in threaded screws or something. <laughs> and I'm thinking there's a lot in the roof, in, in, the, in the loft, it's not gonna fly off, it's the top, the tiles, and then I'm thinking about that. And then I woke up. I don't know if that's to do with this 800 storm or whatever. But yeah, no other dreams. Take care, take care, the rest of the news.